Welcome back to PJ Chain Design. This is PJ. I got a lot of uh, questions every day, and one of the questions being asked a lot is the differences between the join, bowling, and group. In this tutorial, I'm going to talk about the differences between them and what kind of a scenario you are using, what kind of the command. Are you ready? Let's get started. That's starting explaining with those three commands and what they do first, and I want to show you some example. So join has to be endpoint to the endpoint. It can happen into the curve or the, on the surface. Bullying only happen on the solid. So that's a two major difference between those two. And group can happen to anybody. All right, so that's giving an example right here. We have a curve going here and here, and this is endpoint to endpoint. I'm going to move in this out just a little bit right here. And then if I wanted to join, they have to touch me, right? So if I want to just hit join, nothing is going to happen. So make sure the endpoint is, in, is to endpoint. Sometimes I see a lot of mistake is like passing that point. And then it looks like it's touching, but it is not, right? Because it's not endpoint to endpoint. When you zoom in out, it looks like, oh, they are touching. But when you try to join them, and it won't able to join. Sometimes if you click on the join, you click this one and you click this one, all of a sudden you have this message coming up. It said the distance between the uh, close end is what and what. As long as you got this message, they are not endpoint to endpoint. To fix that, it's easier to do is you just moving one of a point away from where that is and using the move command to snapping into this point and make sure you're snapping into the endpoint. The O snap has to be on, on endpoint. All right. So if we hit join and we click this one and this one, now they will turning into the same color as the first one that you click. Right, so that's for the join. The second thing is we can join a surface to surface. The same idea, the edge has to touch the edge. All right, I'm going to do two example right here. I'm going to making a copy. So this edge is touching this edge, and let's go ahead to hit join, and it will join into one piece. What about if this piece is smaller and the edge is touching the edges, and then we want to hit join? it will still join together, right? As long as the edge is touching the edges for the surface. All right, now can we use a join on solid? You can see I got two solid right here. So if I hit join and I pick up this, I try to pick up this and it doesn't let me pick up. You see, I want, you can only pick up, if you read the command bar, you can only pick up the surface, poly surface, sub the curve or in fact it can pick up everything but it's not endpoint to the endpoint so this is where now works i'm going to delete that all right the bowling will only happen to the solid so let's try if we want a bowling union we pick up this and this and nothing happened because it will ask you to select the surface or poly surface all right so on the curve, it doesn't happen, so I'm just going to delete that. And then let's pick up the surface, all poly surface. Now we have two poly surface here. This is a one set, this is the other set, and when we hit enter, you see you have this mark coming out, showing that that is the problem because you are not endpoint to endpoint. So if you have the surface, the bowling union won't work in this case. All right, let's go ahead to delete that. If we want a bowling union, the solid, we're going to pick up both of them, hit enter, then they will turn into one piece. All right, so the bowling union will only work on the solid. Now, what is group? Group means you are temporarily holding it together. If I click on the group command and I pick up this one and this one, I hit enter, they will not be one piece. They are just temporary to hold it together. As you can see, I still got two color. How do you ungroup it? You can use a command ungroup or you can use this um, icon right here for ungroup and now you can separate them. So they are, sometimes it's easier for us to group them instead of picking up individually every single time. Can you group a surface? So let me explode this one and I'm going to delete this and also delete this. All right, I have a multiple surface here. So what I wanted to do is select everybody and then I wanted to group them. So you can group them and it is still individual pieces. They are just 
temporarily held together. What about this one? I got two solids and I can group them together. You can see they still maintain that color. So long answer short, if you want to use a join, make sure that the endpoint has to be touching the endpoint or the edge has to touch in the edge. And then you can join the curve and the surface. If you want to use the bowling, you want to use on a solid, make sure it's a closed poly solid surface, or you want to use the group, you can use on every scenario. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you want to learn more about Rhino specific, how to turn in a 2D image into a 3D model, I have a webinar to show you six different ways to achieve it. It is a free webinar and the link is in the description below. Hope to see you there. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next.